Wake up, please. Come on, Mr. Clump. Here. Come on, time to leave. No, no, it's no use you looking at me all pathetic. I will not lend you that money. Three guineas, Ted. Three no, little no, tiny no, guineas. No, I'm sorry. What's three guineas to a man of your ilk and substance? Hey. I have offered you security on the loan. Security? What good to me is your wife's teeth? <laughs> well, opening mineral water bottle? No, no, no Mr. Listen, Clump, Ted, no, I, don't, I, don't. I want this money for solicitor's fees for my son. Oh. He'll be in here soon. And Ted, his whole future is in jeopardy. <laughs> oh, you're not interested in other people's troubles. You're not. No. Nobody is. So don't listen to the story if you don't want to. How can I help it? You're holding me tie. <laughs> Well, as you're still here, I'll have a brown ale and tell you how it right, happened. Me it started about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Yeah. F was round at our house, sympathising with Ron over a disappointment what he'd had that morning. Oh, Ron. I know what's caused your low spirits, beloved. It's because you failed to get that job with the advertising firm, right? Yes, eh? Shame. Exactly what sort of advertising position was it you went after, Ron? Sandwich board man. Oh, well, quite honestly, Ron, I, I don't think a sandwich board man is all that desirable an appointment anyway. Perhaps not, eh? But it would have kept me off the streets. <laughs> you mustn't let this reverse get you down, beloved. You're behaving as if it's your fault you've been out of work for seven years. <laughs> but, Ron, no one can say you haven't tried to get employment. How many jobs have you tried for in that seven years? Oh, it's a lot, eh? Nearly four. <laughs> I just don't understand why you always get turned down. There must be something that puts employers off you. But what? Look, Ron. Ron, listen. Yes. When you go up for a job, what exactly do you say to them? Oh, nothing much yet. Just, good afternoon. My name's Ron Glum. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name's Ron... Oh, why do you add that second good afternoon? Well, I'm generally on my way out by that time. <laughs> Why, Ron, why? Why should people make up their minds so quickly not to... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, of course, that's it. Ron, suddenly the solutions hit me in the eye. Oh, that happened to me once when I was mending a puncture. Oh, I don't mean that sort of solution. The answer, Ron. Why employers are put off you. Ron, it's your name. Ron Glum. Beloved, I bet if you changed your name, you'd change your whole prospects. Changed my name? Yes, well, look, think about the name Ron Glum. Say it aloud. Ron Glum. Ron Glum. Yes, well, now, honestly, is it the sort of name that inspires confidence? The sort of name that, well, opens all doors? I don't know, eh? Ron Glum. Ron Glum. Well, it opened that one, eh? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. There he is, the sandwich board man that never was. He'd never been able to carry them boards anyway yet, not with his shape. Look at him. About as much breadth of shoulder as a banana. Oh, that was not why Ron failed to attain the post, Mr Glum. Oh, really? No, we've just worked out what's been his handicap all these years. Mr Glum, Ron has got to change his name. Oh, don't talk so wet, eh? Took him till he was 15 to remember the one he's got. <laughs> Change his name. What's the purpose of that, then? Look, Mr Glum. I'm looking. Well, just imagine that you are an employer. <laughs> if you can. There are two people here for a job. Oh, yes. One says, my name's Ron Glum. The other one says, my name's... Oh, Selwyn Harcourt. <laughs> now, Mr Glum, just on names alone, which one would you choose? Well, um... Good afternoon. <laughs> Ron, come back. We're only supposing. You see, Mr Glum, he knows he hasn't got a chance. It isn't fair for him always to have the handicap of being called Ron Glum. Don't you see that? Well, I do see it, I suppose. I see it in a way. But, I mean, changing the name doesn't change him. 
I mean, say, look at Uncle Charlie. He's been all sorts of names in his time. <laughs> Lord Clarence de Vere, Major Winthrop Audley VC, <laughs> Anastasia. <laughs> a forlorn ruddy oak, that was. <laughs> What's the one he's living under at the moment, Ron? Seven, eight, four, one, four. <laughs> yes, but the point is he's still the same Uncle Charlie. I mean, inside. Which is where he happens to be at the moment. <laughs> now, do you grasp my point? Do you get the gist of it? Do you oh, see my point? What I get is this. By refusing to let Ron change his name, you're going to spoil his chances of employment for the rest of his life. Now, hang on. Now, now you have gone too far. Now, hang on. Now, would I do that to my own flesh and bone? Would I? Stubborn I may be. But one thing you don't realise, I am a father. Oh, Dad, congratulations. <laughs> Eth, we've got to have That'll a little... That'll do from you, Ron. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So he changes his name. All right, may I ask now? May I make so bold as to ask what to? To what? What to? Well, just as long as it's something a little more inspiring than Ron Glum. More melodious. Well, how about Alf Potts? <laughs> Oh, don't look down your nose like that. I've known some very nice pots. Well, while we're at it, we might as well choose a really impressive name. All right, then. I mean, I'm going to be Mrs. Whatever it is. Want to be Mrs. Montgomery or something, do you? Oh, you make a suggestion. What would you like to be called? Wyatt Earp. <laughs> look, Ron. Wyatt is no kind of Christian name. Ron Earp. No. <laughs> Selwyn Earp. No. I've got it. Anastasia Earp. May I make a suggestion now, Ron? Yes, Dad. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Glum, we won't find anything if we lose our tempers. We are not losing our tempers. So let's just keep calm, shall we? We are keeping calm. We're just getting a little bit irascible, that's all. <laughs> Do you fancy a surname that ends with son? You know, David's son, Wilson. Erp, son. <laughs> oh, good heavens, it can't be all that difficult to find a name. A name that opens doors. How about Nobby? <laughs> you know, I, I, I think the name must sort of fit, Ron. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you just look at a person and say, oh, yes, he is definitely a David. Or somebody else could... Well, he could only just be a Harold. Now, looking at Ron, what would you say he is a... <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd never get it past Somerset House. Uh. <laughs> Henry Turner. Pardon, oh, no. It just came to me, Eth. Henry Turner. Oh, Henry Turner. Just let me see how it suits Ron. Mrs. Henry Turner. <laughs> Henry and Ethel Turner. His Worshipful and Lady Turner. All right, Ev, all right. Back down to earth again, come on. Oh, I like it, Mr. Glum. I like it very much. It's, well, it's, it's impressive without being ostentatious. <laughs> well done, Ron. Should have asked me in the first place. All right, don't show off, Henry. Now, as I remember, the procedure for changing the name is to have a deed drawn up by a solicitor. So let's go right away. After you, Lady Turner. Yes, now, of course, uh, one just has to sign this simple deed. That's about all there is to it. <laughs> it's done quite frequently these days for one reason or another. I had one earlier today from a Mr. Smelly. Smelly? Oh, yes. Dad, can't uh, I... No, Ron, no. <laughs> We've chosen your name. But if he's finished with it, We've I... We've decided, Ron. Oh. Oh. No, isn't that funny? It's probably the last time I'll be calling you Ron. Sort of sad, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is a big step. Uh, may I inquire the reason why the young man is changing his name? Well, you see, his name at the moment is Glum. Ah, and I understand. I haven't told you yet. <laughs> He's had some difficulty finding employment under his present nomenclatation. Oh, I see, yes, so we have yes. decided to give him a new one. Oh, yes. A name that the manager of the Labour Exchange can put forward with more confidence and sagacity. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you know the manager of the Labour Exchange? Know him. This lad's been up there every day for the past seven years. Oh. I reckon the manager of the Labour Exchange has seen more of Ron than he has of his own wife. Oh, yeah. 
I doubt it. He's a bachelor. <laughs> I know him very well. You know the manager? Old Henry Turner? Why, we were members of the what same... What was that name? Henry Turner. Oh, Ron. I... Where, where are you all going? Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. It just came to me, he says. Don't you see? If you'd have breezed into that labour exchange and announced yourself as Henry Turner, you know what that manager would have done? He'd have cut off your benefits. Oh. <laughs> well, just don't, don't keep on keeping on about it, Mr. Glum. Well. Help us look through the telephone book for likely possibilities. Have you found anything in the S to Z book, Ron? Uh, how about Ken Soso? Ken Soso? Show me. That's the number. Kensington 5050. <laughs> All right, if we can't decide on a name, I shall just con confer one on you willy-nilly. That's a good name. I like it, Dad. <laughs> willy That's enough from you. Oh. Uh, give me that S to Z phone book wrong. Now, open it at random. Oh, Dad, don't be so ignorant. Random's in the L to R book. <laughs> oh, give it here. Now, where's a pin? I've got one in my coat here somewhere. Ah. Now, look, I'm going to open the book anywhere, you see? Like that. Now, I close my eyes and I plunge the pin down. Ah. Now, who have I made a hole in, eh? Oh, uh, oh, Philip Worsley. Right, let's tear that page out. Now, Ron, there's the page. Take it to the solicitor, apologise to him, and tell him your new name is the one with the hole in it. But, Dad... Uh, Ron! Good afternoon. Oh, if he went off and changed his name, Mr. Glum, I don't see what you want the three guineas for. To change it back. Well, why? I think Philip Worsley is a very nice name. It is, Ted, it is, but what I forgot was a hole goes through both sides of a sheet of paper. Oh, no. You mean he's yes, gone... Yes, he has, Ted. The one on the other side of the page. Hello, Dad. Here he is. Ah. Ted, meet my son, Lee Fu Wong. <laughs> 